Well, rental car giant Hertz has inked a deal with BP to develop a national network of electric vehicle charging stations in the U.S. powered by BP's EV charging business, BP Pulse. Hertz CEO Stephen Scher joins us now to discuss the very latest alongside Yahoo Finance's Brian Sazi. Uh, Stephen, great to talk to you. You have been moving very aggressively in expanding your EV fleet here. Tell me how this deal puts you in the position to reach that goal of 25 percent EVs by 2024. Well, thank you, and uh, thanks for having me. You, you've seen us make announcements over the last several months around uh, electric vehicles that we are purchasing, whether it was Tesla, Polestar, General Motors. Uh, but now we're focused with this announcement on the infrastructure that's needed to really run this. And our ambition here is to partner with BP and eventually others to create a, uh, a, a nationwide network in the United States where our customers will have seamless ability without any anxiety uh, to get a charge on their car when and where they need. And it will be seamless billing across. So Hertz will put its customers in a place where they can be indifferent to the network they use. We'll tie these together and make this a really seamless experience. Stephen, I think the last time we talked with you, you just inked the deal with the team over at Polestar. Uh, the Tesla deal now in place, just inked a deal with, with General Motors too. How many electric cars are in the fleet currently? And let's say a year from now, how many will you have? Well, we're at about 5% of our fleet right now, uh, that is electric. And our ambition is by the end of 2024 uh, to be at about 25%, so a quarter of our fleet. Uh, I think that's a, uh, a demonstrable step in the context of what we want to bring to our customers by way of a diverse set of choices on electric vehicles. But I think this announcement uh, really begins to create a competitive edge for us where not only will we have the cars, but we will have the infrastructure such that our customers can get out on the road, uh, corporate leisure or ride share and really uh, you know, take advantage of all uh, that I think is really positive around uh, electric vehicles broadly. Stephen, I'm curious about the demand uh, for these uh, electric vehicles, for renting them, because I will tell you, back in May, I rented from Hertz, and I had the choice of renting a Tesla or a gas-powered car. I was going to Philadelphia for my a college reunion, and it turns out that I went with a gas-powered car, even though the price was pretty comparable, uh, because I was afraid of not having a charging station when I got to Philly. Um, so the question is, is basically, what has the demand been like now that you have these uh, Teslas to offer? Well, first of all, thanks for your business uh, as a customer of Hertz. Uh, demand has been very, very solid. And remember, we're seeing demand not just among leisure travelers, but also among corporate travelers, where in fact, corporations want their employees in an electric vehicle to satisfy some of their own carbon footprint objectives. And then of course, we've been renting to Uber and Lyft as part of the ride sharing network. So demand across all three has been very strong. You were obviously fortunate at a moment in the market when in fact uh, pricing was indifferent as between the two, but now given demand, we are getting premium pricing on electric vehicles. And I'd also point out from a financial point of view for Hertz, the maintenance is appreciably lower on the electric vehicles. Uh, we're seeing it 40 to 50% lower, just given the nature of the car itself, uh, but demand is there very strong and across, across all. I would point out, because you highlighted a point that people raise quite often, which is about the anxiety of charging. And obviously our announcement with BP today, which will broaden out our network, will diffuse some of that anxiety. But what's interesting is that almost 50% of rentals at Hertz are driven a distance where the car would not need a single charge. And so I think the anxiety is understood, but it's early, it will dissipate. And what we're doing with uh, with BP will further uh, help that effort. Uh, Stephen, you mentioned the maintenance costs for EVs certainly going to be lower, but there's also the question about what this means from an electricity cost standpoint. You've got the infrastructure in place with the chargers, but we've had issues play out where the chargers are there, but the grid can't necessarily support it when demand is at a peak. What does that mm -hmm. planning look like as you move towards that target of 2024? Well, you've hit on one of the real issues why uh, engaging with BP uh, is an important step. Not only are they going to build charging stations, mostly fast chargers on our facilities, uh, but we are gonna use their energy management tools and software to sort of overcome exactly what it is that you're talking about, which is we know demand, we know where the cars are going. They have an ability to manage 
change the electric uh, grid and the direction and consumption uh, of, of electricity in the context of charging. And I think that's a very powerful combination. And your question comes right at it, which is, this is not just about the physical infrastructure, it's about the ability of BP and ourselves to manage uh, you know, where, where cars can be charged based on what's available on the grid you know, across, the, uh, across the network. So Stephen, a strong demand for Tesla electric vehicles. Inez is still searching maybe around for her next <laughs> rental vehicle. I, I, she will find it, I'm sure, but what are you seeing in terms of holiday bookings? Uh, we're just a few minutes from, from, I would say, peak season in many respects for, for a business sure. like yours. Yeah. Well, right now, leisure travel has been well past where we were in 19. Interestingly, corporate travel is coming back to kind of 80 to 90 percent of where we were. We see our backlog roughly two or three months in front of us. What is what is uh, of note on the on the leisure side is for the holiday period, we are seeing very strong, very early bookings into the United States by European travelers, mostly into Florida. Uh, for the Christmas period. And that's running at about 2x what it was this time last year. And so bookings have been positive, uh, you know, out through uh, the next couple of months, but equally to your question, in through the holiday period where it's proving quite strong. Certainly uh, hope that momentum keeps up. Stephen Schur, it's good to have you on today. Hertz CEO joining us there alongside our very own Brian Sazi.